Hello again. In this video, we are going to talk about how to connect your GitHub repository to Azure DevOps pipeline. And that is very simple and straightforward. Let's directly jump into our exercise. So I have already logged into my GitHub account and this is my repository, which is DevOps YouTube. Let me log into my Azure DevOps console, which is dev.azure.com slash your organization name, which is Das learning for me. Once you are logged in into Azure DevOps organization, you will be seeing all your projects. So I have only one project. I'm clicking on this project, Das Learning project. In our earlier episodes, we used directly Azure Git repos or which is directly provided by Azure DevOps. This time we will be connecting GitHub. Now, what we want to do, we want to connect our GitHub repository to Azure DevOps pipeline. That means I will be having YAML files or the pipeline definitions directly in GitHub, which will trigger our pipeline in Azure DevOps. So for that, click on pipelines. Once you are into pipelines, click on new pipeline. Once you click on new pipelines, you will get a couple of options like Azure Repos Git, which we used extensively in our older episodes. This time I'll be taking GitHub. So the third option I'm going to choose, click on GitHub. So basically it will ask you to authenticate with your GitHub. So for that you need to log in with admin account of your GitHub. Click on this authorize Azure pipelines and you can check what are the things it is going to do. You can read out all of those things. But yeah, once you click on authorize, it is directly taking all the repositories which are created for my personal account, but I need to connect to the organization. And if I cannot find that organization, basically at the bottom of the screen, there is one option. You may also select a specific connection. If I click on this, now it will show two options. I can authorize or I can install the GitHub app. So if I click on install the GitHub app, but yes, if in your case you are directly using your account's own repositories, that is fine. You can directly choose the repository, whichever you want and it will work fine. But so I need to sign in. I can select the account. Now it is giving me two options. Now I see my organization over here. So if I click on Das Learning Org, now it will show me a couple of options. I do not want to install this for all repositories, only selected repositories. And that repository is DevOps YouTube. And all the permissions it requires to run its own integrations. And you can click on install. And after that, it will ask for another authorization. Click on authorize. Now you will see the organization and the repository is loaded over here. Click on that. It is giving me a warning, which is you have selected a public repository, blah, blah. You can make your project public and so on. But yeah, I'm not bothering about that. So I can click on starter pipeline to create a new pipeline in this particular repository. So directly it will create one YAML file. So if I click on starter pipeline, so it will load up some basic code and I'm going to run this basic code only. Basically, this will display some echo command, something like that. And if I click on save and run and any commit message, if you want to put along with, you can save and run. Yeah, it has created a pipeline and job is in the queue and it has ran as I see. And here it is, it is printing the hello world in a single line script and it is also showing the multi-line output from the pipeline. Now, if I move over to my organization, which is Das Learning Org, this is my repository and I'll see basically one YAML pipeline is created over here directly on main branch. I've already cloned that repository locally and let me pull the changes and here you go. This is the file. And I can change something. Maybe I do not want the next step. And let me change this one. Okay. This is the file I'm going to execute again. And as this trigger is on main branch, that means if there is any changes or push to the main branch, it will trigger the pipeline. As simple as that. I have saved this file, git status and modified one file. That's fine. Git add dot git commit any message. So running is it pipeline from github push something like that and simply git push and as i am on the main branch it will push to the main branch directly push is done let me check whether it has created any new run or not 
so let me go to pipelines the second pipeline is running oh i have given some wrong commands maybe but yeah let me check oh i missed the echo so let me put echo that was a silly mistake and this is how devops works if you do any mistake you can run it again and pipeline will execute that fix echo git push again and it should trigger another run of that pipeline and here it is the new fix click on job now it is executing properly hello from das learning you can write whatever you like it will be executed in azure devops that's all for this video see you in the next video thanks for watching